Okay then. Oh. Welcome back to another episode of Stu's Reviews Unboxing. Let's get started. Okay, so the first one we've got is this, which is a yellow package with something called a phone bracket inside it, which is a bit weird. And where's that from? Good God! This is from Fanfang Nanhai Huan Gui Shagzigzizui Beiwelunanan Fushashni Guangdong Fushashni Guangdong China. China all the time. I wouldn't like to have to tell someone over the phone that address. But anyway, let's get started. Straight away, we're already into a bit of a weird start here. Uh, where is it? Okay. Aha. This is nice. Hmm. Okay, go away and have to hoover up later. Right, this is a smart sensor car wireless charger, which looks quite nice actually. It's like a bracket that holds your phone and charges it at the same time. I'd assume if it's, oh, it's USB-C as well. And that's always a benefit. I always like USB-C. Oh, actually, before we continue, if you're Scottish and you're watching this on January the 25th when it's posted, then I've got something to say to you. Happy Burns Night. I'm gonna have a whiskey. Now, in Scotland, they celebrate something called Burns Night which is basically a uh, Scottish poet, and they drink lots of whiskey on this night. So, I'm gonna have myself a very small glass because it's currently quite early in the morning. It's about half past 11. Happy Burns Night. Incident, incident, uh, ha. Oh, incidentally, that's Highland Park, one of my favorites. Anyway, right. Happy Burns Night, let's carry on. So, oh, I didn't brush my teeth that long ago either. I wouldn't advise drinking whiskey after brushing teeth. Anyway, this is quite sleek and sophisticated. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, where's my phone? Let's have a look. Question is, does it fit with a case on? Is it adjustable? Does that? Oh, these are like little wings that go out. Okay, that's interesting. Does it slide in there like that? It's not the... Oh, okay. Ah, quite like that. That's quite neat. And then this goes in at the bottom like this. And it charges it and holds it at the same time. Oh, that's quite neat. Yeah, that's nice. But the big question is, how do you stick it onto your dashboard? It appears to be a form of, ah, it's a grip system that goes into your air vents. Oh, that's quite interesting. I don't know if I'll get around to using that, but it looks quite nice. This is by a company called, I don't know, it doesn't have their name on the box. As usual, Chinese stuff doesn't, but I'll leave a link below once I've found out. Okay, we've got a package here. But this one is just from a simple address. Okay, apparently this is from someone called Ranvu. Okay, let's have a look. What have we got? Case for a cell phone. Case for a cell phone, fit perfectly. Ooh, let's have a look. Ah, these are quite nice, actually. Okay, they might not be the same. These are like a bumper. Ah, a bumper with a clear back. Now that's a clear one, completely clear one. I'll put that away for a moment. Let's have a look and get this on the phone. Ooh, very nice, that's nice. It's got a nice ridge on the back as well to kind of keep it off the off the table and stop it getting scratched. Oh, there's a bit of packaging there. Ooh, cool, eh? Hmm. Oh, I quite like that. The buttons feel quite nice as well. Mm, Ranvu, this is quite a nice case. Very nice, I might come back to that one. Because we all know how I like to test phone cases and see how actually 
protective they are. But anyway, let's move on to another one. Got another package here from Ranvu. Okay, interesting. We've got more Ranvu cases. Let's have a look. It's two again. Are these the exact same? That's the big question. Full protect. Oh, this one looks nice. Ooh, very nice. This one. Look at this. How do I get this out? Mmm. Assembling tips. Okay, this looks like you have to put it in multiple parts. But I like the style of it. How do I get it open? Should give some instructions to get it open, actually. All right. Okay, assembling tips. So I'll take that off. Take that off. That is instructions, which I will use in a moment. Let's take off the old Ranvu case and put the new one on. Well, that looks quite sophisticated. It's very Art Deco and it's very my style. I quite like that one. It's very slim as well. Mmm, that's a good case. I like that. Mmm, what about this one? Is this the same? It's very similar to the original one, but it's sort of more rubbery, this one. Hmm. Oh, looks like Ranvu actually do some quite nice cases here. Okay, right, well I might revisit those sometime very soon and see how good they are. Okay, we've got something called a smart wristband here. What's this then? Woo, this is the Huawei Honor 4. But it's all in Chinese and I can't read any of it. So that's not useful at all, but I'm pretty certain that says Huawei. What is, this is the Huawei Honor 4. Well, I'm excited for this. Let's have a look. This apparently has an AMOLED display on a wristband. I know a lot of you have been asking me to review this, so I've got it. So I expect to review very, very, very soon. I'm quite happy this has arrived. Okay, come on. Okay, how do you start her up? That's the big question. On, do I hold this button here? I'm gonna go put this on charge just over there and we'll come back to this after I've opened a few more. This one, this is interesting. This is from someone called Super Smart Service. It seems like it's very well packaged. Hmm. Okay. Caution, lithium ion batteries. What could it be? It really is a lithium ion battery. But what for? Why do I get sent this weird stuff? Why have I been sent a weird battery that goes into something, but I have nothing that it can go into? This makes no sense. Please refer to manual before using battery. There's not even a branding on it. Standard GBT, well, I'm gonna have to look at this. Where's my phone? Uh, I, I can't even work out what it is, what it's for. It just says for racer. Racer? What's a racer? It was a cell phone battery. It's a Samsung cell phone battery. Well, that's fantastic because I don't own a Samsung device at all. So that can go responsibly in the recycling. Interesting. Right, okay, on to this package here, which is a DH Express, DHL Express. Okay, what have we got? We've got another box. Okay, and inside the box, on this... Sorry about that. Inside the uh, unlisted box is...
God, today is all about difficult packaging, isn't it? Oh, it's a couple of things. What's this then? This is a remote uh, toughened glass panel and touch control switch. Hmm. This might make more sense if we get it out of the box. Ooh. Ah, this is a Livolo product. A Livolo, and this is basically, I think, a glass panel. They sent it me and they said, Do you want to try this? I think this is basically to replace your light switch on the wall that sits behind the wall, and then that goes over the front like that. And it creates a, just a touch panel that I think you can do a couple of things with. And we've got a remote as well, which allows you, I think, to work with multiple switches. So, this is a way of creating a smart home without the need of things like hubs and stuff like that. This allows you to, oh, there's a little key ring, that's quite nice. Um, how does it work? Uh, does it slide down? Oh, that's quite cool. Oh, I like that. Well, that's a neat little design. It feels a bit retro mind. It feels a bit sort of 80s. You've got this keychain like this, and then it slides down like that and reveals the little buttons on the bottom. If you can see that at all. Don't know if he wants to focus. But there's little buttons on the bottom, A, B, C, and D, but they feel nice. Obviously it needs some batteries. I don't need this to wire, be wired up, but um, yeah, I think that could be quite cool. Bit retro, especially in today's modern world of, of things like Ikea Tradfury and Philips Hue and stuff. It does seem a little bit retro. But overall, not too bad. I'll probably come back to that at some point later. Okay, what's next? Let's have a look inside this parcel here. Now it says on here, the contents is tops. And it feels like a top. What have I been sent? What have I been sent? Okay, this looks a bit different than what I expected. What is this? Use a manual. Why do I need a manual for a top? Mobile warming motorcycle heated vest. Ooh, this is fun. Okay, first, please use heating vest with portable charger. Okay. Wow. Look at this. Oh. Look at this. It's got a button. This is cool. Okay. Right. So I think I need to, do I charge this? Or do I plug this into something? Right, hold on. I'm gonna find a battery to plug this into. Here we go. Okay. Oh, it's a little bit on the uncomfortable side, but it does feel quite smooth. I think if I was wearing it underneath the jacket, I probably wouldn't notice. Right, I've got a mobile battery here. I don't know if it has charge in it though, which is annoying. So. I'm just going to plug it in and see what happens and pray for the best. This could be the last time you'll ever see me. No, I'm not dead just yet. Okay, that's positive. Right, okay. Well, I'll just leave that there. How do I know it's on? That's the big question. Instructions, blah, blah, blah. Portable charger in the picture is not included. Sense. Third step, press the switch of the vest for three seconds. Then that will happen. One, two, three. Oh, look, there we go. I'm lighting up. Look at that. I've got a red light. Okay. It is written in terrible Chinese mind. It says stuff like, this product will be automatically transferred to 70% heating if you do not press the switch and the light will turn white after five minutes. Why is it blue? No, it's gone off now. I just don't know. I might not have any battery life in this left, which is a shame, so I would have liked to have tested this out, but it's ideal because currently it is getting colder and colder and we're gonna have some snow very soon. So I'm gonna try this out at some point and see how useful it actually is. But for now, let's just move on. This box here. Right. 
Mmm. Mmm. Very excited to show you this. It's called the Click and Grow. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Very cool. So, what is that? That is a uh, rubbish. This is what's called a smart garden. Now, essentially, this takes all of the hardship out of growing vegetables. You literally plug it in, pop the pods in you get from these guys, and it grows vegetables. I mean, look at that. Now, this is probably gonna take me a little while to review because ultimately, ooh, ultimately, I've got to test it and see whether or not it grows something. So you might not see this for another couple of months, but I am very, very excited to give this a go. Very excited indeed, because that looks really cool. Now I'm super excited about this concept because it takes obviously the hardship away from growing stuff because it does it all for you, but it also takes the need of having things like a dedicated garden to grow herbs and vegetables in. I think that's incredible. And for today's modern living, where most people live in flats or in towns or in cities where they haven't got space, that sort of thing is ideal. And I genuinely believe that that thing is going to be the future of making decent food. Honestly, I genuinely believe that is going to be the future. So over the next few weeks, you'll see a review of that. You might see some catch-ups about that over on Twitter. And I might even post stuff here in my stories. But I'm going to be growing some vegetables, so or herbs at least. So... Hmm, check back in about a month or two's time and we'll see where we're at with that. A letter. Could this be someone asking for money? This is the first letter I've ever had to my PO box. Oh, that's nice. I hope it's fan mail. Why do you lot never send me fan mail? Obviously you don't love me enough. But anyway, okay, let's move on here. And have a look inside this. Okay, this could be interesting called phone loops okay I've got a Christmas one I've got a banana a plain one a flowery one another Christmas one a coffee one Okay, and on the back, it shows how it works. Basically, it looks like it goes round your case, and then it creates basically like a little strap you can hold your, your hands through. Well, that's an interesting little concept, but I wonder how good they are, and if your phone will be safe. Hmm. I think I might try that at some point. Be interesting to know how well these actually work and how secure it makes your phone. Okay, moving on. We haven't got many left. So moving on, I've got this one here. And um, yep, I don't think you get any points for guessing what might be inside that. Because to me, it looks like a projector. So let's have, oh, that's nice. Comes in a nice carrying case. Okay, this is positive. This is positive already. I like this. Okay. Okay, this is small. Again, this is nice. I like this. This is the Elfas. What is it? The Elfas. Something. Doesn't have a product name on it, but it's called it's by a company called Elfast. Well, I like that. That is mini. That is very dinky indeed. Let's get rid of that. Oh god, something just came out. What was that? Oh, it's the case of this. Well, it's lightweight. Feels nice. Got a big focus wheel on it. Hmm. Question is. Is there anything special about it? And I don't know the answer to that. So let's have a quick look and see what they said when they sent me an email, because they probably sent me an email saying, can we send you this? So let's have a look. 
Okay, here we are. So this is a projector by Alphas and it is 60 quid. But that seems really cheap. It's got a remote and everything. Okay, so this is an extremely budget projector. I'll definitely come back to this one. Yeah, I like the idea of a budget projector. I've never really come across a decent one. So I'm hoping this will be quite good. But we'll have a look and we'll come back to that at another point. Okay, right, last box. Pray it be something useful. Ugh. Ah, interesting. It's another device by Tekin. I'm pretty certain for the last three months I've had stuff by Tekin. I've had, the first month I had two smart plugs by Tekin. Last month I had four more smart plugs by Tekin and now I've got a gigantic, great big lamp. Let's get it out and have a look at it. It's a Tekin dimmable LED floor lamp. It's a bit of a shame if it doesn't work with their ad, like the smart plugs though. Bit of an oversight there, really. Okay. Okay. Oh, hello. Hmm. Oh, God. Yeah, this is not working. Let's want this off. Can I get this off? It doesn't seem to want to come off. Come on now. There we are. Okay, that's that. There's a lot of cables here. There really is a lot of stuff going on. The top, and it goes on the bottom. Oh god. I don't understand. This doesn't make any sense. Is that broken? No. I don't make this very clear, really. Then again, I didn't read the instructions, so my own fault. I don't really understand why this is so long. There we go. Okay, right. Whew, that was hard work. Right, let's get this out as well. Okay, oh, just need to plug this in, and then we're ready to go. Okay, uh, oh, right, Stu said, let there be light. Ah, that's quite nice. Can I dim that? It says it's dimmable. I can tilt it though, which is interesting. And tilt it around. Hmm. Okay. All right. How do you dim it? That's the question. It's just it's a dimmable light. There is a brightness control button on the floor lamp. Touch the brightness control button, then press the stepless dimming for a long time. Ah, oh, there we go. You hold your finger on it, and now it's dark. What about go back the other way? Hmm. Let's tone that down a bit. There we are. For those that can't see, I'll bring it down here. Hold on. And there we are. There we are. I think that's quite cool. It's very modern. Where's the dimmer? I've lost it. Hmm. 
a wizard's staff when it's like that. You shall not pass. Okay, anyway, that is enough of that. Obviously, it's driving me slightly mad, so I'm just going to put it back up there like that for now. And let's move on back to the Honor Band 4, which I've left over there. Hopefully, that AMOLED display will be back up and running. Oh, that is nice, very nice. Okay, well, it's all in Chinese, so I can't understand a single word of it. But from what I can see here, that display looks gorgeous, very nice. Have a look at that. That's a very nice display. And I think that's gonna make a very good review. Mmm. So I think overall, what has been today's best item? Well, I would think either this, the Honor Band 4, because I'm looking forward to testing that. That screen looks very delicious indeed. Or alternatively, but I think most probably, 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 this has been my favorite and is going to be my favorite. I mean, I'm so excited to test this out. I really, really, really am for all of the reasons I said before. So yeah, this wins January 2018's, no, January 2019. Oh God, time flies so fast. Anyway, this wins January 2019's best of show. Definitely the best item I've been sent this month. So stay tuned for a review of that. So that ends today's unboxing. Guys, if you like the video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. And, is it, and if there's anything you've seen me unbox today that you want to see a review of, leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll take a look at that and hopefully get around to uh, reviewing it soon. And with that, I'll see you back for another episode of Stu's Reviews soon. Before you go, consider supporting me on my Patreon page by clicking here. It'll give you some great discounts on stuff I've reviewed and helps me to continue doing reviews. If you want to see some fun stuff, click here to see the highlights of Stu's reviews. And as a friendly reminder, click this button to subscribe.